ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, if you have a bankruptcy, if you had a bankruptcy, if you are thinking about filing bankruptcy, just go and look at Title 28, USC 1334. Title 28, USC 1334, it says that the district court, not the bankruptcy court, has exclusive jurisdiction over chapter title 13, 7, blah, 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 blah. Anything associated with bankruptcy, which is under title 11. Title 11, chapter 7, chapter 13, chapter 11, chapter 9 bankruptcies are all to be exclusively handled in the district court. Unless you're a public entity filing for bankruptcy. Private entities are not supposed to be in bankruptcy court. You're supposed to be doing it in the private, people. All your court cases are supposed to be in the private. It means non-core. We're going to play this for you. I'll tell you what was done. So give me a second. Summarization section for petition to vacate bankruptcy order. This petition to vacate the bankruptcy order is premised Gotta make on sure the, fact can hear. That the bankruptcy court overstepped its jurisdiction by allowing a creditor to seize the petitioner's private property without due process of law. The petitioner did not voluntarily consent to the waiver of their constitutionally secured rights, including the right to a trial before a judicially empowered That's official. Right, you have the right to a jury trial in bankruptcy court, baby! The bankruptcy court, created under Article 1, has limited authority and cannot adjudicate non-core matters, Oops. such as private property disputes, as affirmed in Northern Pipeline Construction Co. v. Marathon Pipeline Co. 458 U.S. 50, 1982. The district court holds exclusive jurisdiction over bankruptcy matters and has original jurisdiction over all cases under Title 11, as prescribed in 28 U.S.C. Parskeha 1334. Imagine that. This court is constitutionally empowered to hear matters involving private property under Article 3. The petitioner asserts that no consent was given to the bankruptcy court, which acted beyond its jurisdiction. In Stern v. Marshall, 564 U.S., 462, 2011. Char. The Supreme Court held that bankruptcy courts cannot enter final judgments on state law claims without the party's consent, private property. particularly where private rights are concerned. The petitioner was misled into believing that the official presiding over the bankruptcy proceedings was a judicial officer, when in fact, this individual did not possess the constitutional... Now, hold on. Let me explain to you what the Supreme Court said so that you guys get this. The Supreme Court held that the bankruptcy court cannot enter final judgment in state law claims. Well, your private rights are protected under your state constitution, the Ninth and Tenth Amendment. Your private rights are not federal rights. The federal government has no jurisdiction over your rights, i.e. the bankruptcy court has no jurisdiction. Your rights are secured by the Constitution. Your property rights are not federal property rights. They are on the state level, so i.e. state law claims. And the bankruptcy court gets consent because you sign the papers. But remember, there are no papers listed as federal district court bankruptcy. It is called the bankruptcy court. Bankruptcy courts are Article 1, not Article 3. The Supreme Court in all of these cases, especially Stern, says that the bankruptcy court cannot hear these matters. Only Article 3 can hear these matters. Now, he lied right here. The Judiciary Act of 1866. There is no Judiciary Act. Oh. It's not the Judiciary Act of 1866. He lied right there. It is the, pay attention, pay attention, the Civil Rights Act of 1866. So you guys will change that in the document. I'm not changing it. I'm too tired. Okay, and I've already shut down everything. So that's it. You got to change that. But it ain't going to make no difference. Y'all going to the district court, baby! You know, and you're doing a jury trial. A trial by jury, excuse me. Trial by jury, not a jury trial. In the district court. You see, you are allowed to have a trial by jury in the district court because it's a district court matter. So they cannot bar you from a trial by jury in the district court. That's, man, that's why they put you guys in bankruptcy court. That's why they kept sitting you there because they didn't want to put it before a jury because a jury will not rule against you and your right to file bankruptcy because they can't. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay. 
So I'm sorry, you guys have no idea. I am very tired today because a lot's been going on and I a lot's been going on. I can't talk about everything that happened today, but there's been a lot going on and there's one issue that's going to cause me some stress. All right, ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, in the description of this video, you're going to find that right there. The only thing you need to copy is the Eon TV part. You don't have to do the HTTP. Eon.tv and those other numbers, put that in your browser, copy it like I just did, and paste it. That's all you have to do. And when you do that, guess what? You'll have the document. Tailor it to suit your needs. If you've been foreclosed on, go back and get that order overturned. Vacate it by saying the court didn't have jurisdiction. If the court didn't have jurisdiction, you get your property back. And if you, they can't give you your property back, they have to pay you the value of the property. And you get the bankruptcy. You get to stay in bankruptcy. Guess what? No filing fees if you are doing a motion to vacate. Ladies and gentlemen, you don't have to pay any money. You put the court case for the previous bankruptcy on the document and you put it into the bankruptcy court. Now, if the bankruptcy court says denied, appeal it. Do not let them just deny your junk. Appeal it and put the motion in chat GPT and say, I need to write an appeal for this and let it do the appeal. That's all you got to do. You ain't got to add much to it at all because all of the points are in the document and attached the original complaint and said, I'm attaching this original complaint into this matter and I'm appealing all of the points raised in here that the court ignored. That's all you got to do. Don't say I ain't did nothing for you because I promise you nobody ain't did nothing like this for nobody. I promise you they ain't did nothing like this y'all got a motion to put y'all back into your homes and if the home has been sold if it's been transferred they have to undo all of that y'all just gotta fight yeah i know they gonna hate me because ain't nobody did nothing like this now remember oh and the stay gets put back in play <laughs> they gonna hate me because this gonna unravel everything hey bankruptcy court bye bye Bye-bye, bankruptcy court. You don't exist anymore. Because once people start doing this, no more bankruptcy court. Oh, those of you, you can use this document, the vacating of the bankruptcy court order. Well, the bankruptcy court order is that you go to bankruptcy court. So that's what you're vacating. So you can still go to the district court for filing bankruptcy. Title 11. And all you got to do is highlight USC, 28 USC, 1334. So all you got to do is highlight that exclusive jurisdictions in the district court. I, I Look at the hand. I don't want to hear it. I get to file it in here, and I'm going to file it in here. So shut, the, shut up. I'm going to file it in here. Now, oh, you're just a clerk. I ain't talking to you. Um, excuse me, where the judge at? Really? Y'all didn't speak to no judge, and y'all sitting up here telling me this bull? Uh-uh. Y'all better get a judge to make this decision. This is a judicial. Oh, you didn't read it? It's a non-core matter. Y'all ain't got no jurisdiction over this, Mrs. Clerk. You an executive officer. You ain't no Article Three judge. You can't make no determinations regarding whether or not I can or cannot file bankruptcy in the district court. Don't you understand what a non-court matter is? Supreme Court says only Article Three judges can make determinations over whether or not my constitutionally secured right can be exercised or not. So get out of the way, ho. I mean, uh, cop I mean, sl I mean, uh, you know what I'm saying. Get out of my way. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Despite the antics, go back and listen to what I just said. The clerk of the court is an executive officer. They're under the executive branch of government. They're not under the legislative branch of government. They're not judicial officers. Only an Article Three judge can make a determination regarding bankruptcy when it involves private rights. And you have the private right to petition the district court for bankruptcy. I'm giving you all the pieces of the puzzle. All you got to do is go back and listen. 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 All right. Have a good day, everybody.